Nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Amen. In Troibor Altari Dei. Adiam Codificati Vento Dimium. Judica Mei Deus et Discene Casa Meam De Gente Non Sancta Ab Homine Iniquita Loso Eroe Mei. Intro we bore out our day. Adiam could it be got to vent to the mirror. Aditorium nostrum in nomine domini. Quipiti cerum eterum. Can fit your day omnipotenti beati Maria, Semper Virginia, beati Michele Arcangelo, beati one of Tiste, Sanctis Apostolis Petro, et Palo Omnibus Sanctis et Vomis Fratres, quia peccavi nimis cogitazione verbo ero pere, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Idio precor beata Mariam super virginem beata Michelem Arcangelum beata mi una baptista, Sanctus Apostolus Petro et Palo Omnes, Sanctus et Vos Fratres, orari pro mea Dominum Deum Nostrum. Miseria terra omnipotens Deus et metis peccatis tu espeduca de vitam eterna. Amen. In the Beata Mass, in the Virgin, in the Virgin, in the Baptist, in the Santa Spirit, in the Paul, in the Santa Spirit, in the Father, who is the Son of God, and the Son of God, my fault, my fault, my maximum fault. And the Beata Mass, in the Virgin, in the Virgin, in the Virgin, in the Baptist, in the Santa Spirit, in the Paul, in the Santa Spirit, in the Father, Orare pro mea Dominum Deum Nostrum. Miseriatra Vestri Omnipotens Deus, et de Mrs. Peccatis Vestris Perducat Vos, ad vitam eternam. Amen. Indulgentiam absolutionum et remissione peccatorum nostrum tripoit nobis omnipotens, et misericors Dominus. Amen. Deus tu conversus vivificabis nos. Lepsto alit abeto rentim. Ostende nobis Domine misericordiam tuam. Et salutare tom Dominum. Domine exaudi erationem meam. Et lamor mio sete venim. Dominus vobiscum. Et com spiritu. O Remo, Sovereign. In medio ecclesiae, apero ed oseus et in plebe deum dominus spiritus sapientiae et intellectus, stolam gloria induit eum, alleluia, alleluia. Bonum est confiteri Domino et est salari nomini Tua Altissime, Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. In medio ecclesiae a perudo seius et in plevideam Dominus Spiritus Sapientiae et intellectus stolam gloria induit eum. Alleluia, Alleluia. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Et in terra pax hominibus boni voluntatis. Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gratia sagimus tibi propter magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens. Domine fili unigenite, Jesu Christe. Domine Deus agnus de Jesu Filius Patris, qui tolis peccata mundi misere renovis, qui tolis peccata mundi suscipite precazionem nostrum, qui sedes ad exteram Patris misere renovis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Jesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Dominus Fobiscum. Cam spirit tuo. O Remus, 
Deus qui ad tuendam catholicam fidem beatum et patrum, confessorem tuum virtute et doctrina roborasti, concedi propitius ad Deus exempli sed monitis errantes, ad salutem recipiscant, et fideles in veritatis confessioni perseverent, per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. O Remus, uh, recordare Domine testa uh, Deum qui non mortem non sed penitentiam desideras peccatorum, populum tuam ad te reveren, revertentem, propitius respice, ut dum tibi devotus existit, iracundie tui flagella ab eo clementer amovias, per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio Epistoli Beati Pate, Pauli Apostoli et Timotium. Carissime testificor coram Deo et a Iesu Christo, qui judicaturus est vivos et mortuos per adventum ipsius et regnum eius, predica verbum insta opportune importune, argue obsequa increpa in omni patientia <coughs> et doctrina. Erit enim tempus cum sanam doctrinam non sustinebunt, sed ad sua desideria coacervavunt sibi magistros, prurientes auribus sed a veritate quidem auditum avertent ad fabulas autem convertentur, tu vero vigila in omnibus labora opus fac evangeliste, ministerium tuum imple, sobrias esto, ego enim iam de libor, et tempus resolutionis mea instat, bonum certam in certavi corsum consumavi fidem servavi, in reliquo reposita est amici corona justitiae, quam redit mici dominus in illa die justus judex, non solum autem mici sedet is qui diligunt adventum eius. Deo gratia. Alleluia, alleluia. Amave Deum Domine, serenave Deum, stolam gloria induit Deum, alleluia. Justus germa, germinavit sicud lilium et florebit in aeternum ante dominum, alleluia. Dominus Vobiscum, a sequencia sancti evangelii secunda Matteum. In il tempore dixit Iesus discipulis suis, vos estis alterre, quod si sal eva numerit in quo salietur, ad Nicolum valid ultra nisi ut mitater foras et can culcetur ab hominibus. Vos estis lux mundi, non potes civitas abscondi, supramontem posita, neque ac cedunt lucernam et ponunt eam submodio, sed supercandelabrum ut luciat omnibus qui in domo sunt. Sic luciat lux vestra coram hominibus, ut vidiant opera vestra bona et glorificent patrem vestrum qui in celis est. Nolite putare coniam veni salvre legem aut profetas, non veni salvre sed adem clere. Amen qui vedico vobis, donet transiat et celum, et terra iota unum, aut unus apex non preteribit a lege, donet omnia fiant, qui ergo salveret unum de mandatis istis minimis, et ocuerit es sic homines minimus vocabitur in regno celorum, qui autem fecerit et ocuerit hic magnus vocabitur in regno celorum. Epistle appointed to be read for the feast of Saint Peter Canisius is taken from Saint Paul's second letter uh, to Timothy. 
Dearly beloved, I charge thee before God and Jesus Christ, who shall judge the living and the dead by his coming and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, entreat, rebuke all in patience and doctrine. For there shall come a time when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires they will heap up to themselves teachers having itching ears, and will indeed turn away their hearing from the truth, but will be turned into fables. But be thou vigilant, labor in all things, do the work of, of an evangelist, fulfill thy ministry, be sober, for I am even now ready to be sacrificed, and the time of my dissolution is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. As to the rest, there is laid up for me a crown of justice, which the Lord, the just judge, will render to me in that day, and not only to me, but to them also that love his coming and the Holy Gospel. is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It's good for nothing anymore but to be cast out and to be trodden on by men. You are the light of the world. A city seated on a mountain cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a, a bushel, but upon a candlestick, that it might shine to all that are in the house. So let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For amen, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, not one jot nor one tittle shall pass away of the law till all be fulfilled. He therefore that shall break one of these least commandments and shall so teach men shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But he that shall do and teach, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. This word are the words of today's Holy Gospel. There shall come a time when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, they will heap them up to themselves teachers having itching ears and will indeed turn away their hearing from the truth, but will be turned unto fables. And then from the gospel, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It's good for nothing anymore but to be cast out and trodden on by men. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so, my friends, um, this today will be the uh, next to the last day that we'll have a, uh, an, uplo uh, an uploaded Mass uh, online. Um, tomorrow will be our last uploaded Mass, and then we'll go back to our uh, regular live stream schedule of masses on uh, of mass on Sunday, um, at least for the uh, near future, uh, since things are changing a bit here, uh, here in New Zealand, uh, we'll be able to uh, reopen our school and uh, continue a bit uh, under more more normal circumstances. And so these uh, this will be my last time probably uh, for a while that I'll be able to address you <clears throat> from our catacomb chapel. And so these excerpts that I've read today from, or from today's Epistle and Gospel for today's Feast of St. Peter Canisius, who was a, uh, one of the old-style Jesuits, these passages, I think, describe precisely where we are today. I'm, I'm not going to speak of today's saint. He's a saint for another time, he, a time of Catholic faith, which is not our time. These excerpts, however, <clears throat> which I have just read from today's feast are precisely for our time. And speaking of that, speaking of our time, as our overlords here in New Zealand will be ratcheting back from uh, level four to level three of their COVID-19 national lockdown, effective tonight at 11.59 p.m., and as this allows us then here at St. Anthony's Church and School to resume, resume some of our, our currently uh, suspended uh, normal duties, not yet, however, 
uh, allowing the public celebration of the Mass. Uh, we may, as I mentioned, no longer, we will no longer be able to continue uh, these daily online Masses, such as what you're viewing now. Uh, again, owing to the absence of, the ongoing absence of two of our priests uh, currently in distant venues. Uh, and we will be able to return uh, somewhat to the resumption of our daily duties, which have been left fallow uh, for the last month. And so, um, I'd like to make use of, of what may be my last time to speak to you from our Priory Chapel here, uh, to s perhaps to a wider audience, um, more, more, more directly from my, from my own heart. As I've said to you before, um, our present situation is utterly unique. Um, never in the history of the human race has the entire world been put under house arrest 24-7, a curfew, a uh, 24-hour curfew, allegedly, allegedly to protect us from what we will not in any case be able to escape, death, whenever that, not may, but whenever that will be, there will be none of us who will uh, escape death, however that may come. And so the response then of our world's overlords, whoever they may be, at the highest levels, wherever that may be, is extraordinarily cynical. They, measuring correctly the present craven cowardice of the entire human race, no excuses, no mitigating circumstances for this. We are entirely an indulged, an indulgent, a pampered, and a self-absorbed race of narcissists. Honor and glory, much less piety, need not apply today. And this being so, our overlords have perfectly and cynically judged us ripe nay, overripe for the plucking. And so it begins. Mark my words, it will not end with this. Mark my words, it's not a virus. It's not death which threatens us. It's slavery. And we will begin the acceptance of the beginning of that slavery as we kiss the needles of the future mandatory vaccinations which will be imposed upon us. But it's not even that that I now or that we should all decry. Rather, it's the loss of our Catholic faith. It's the loss of our Catholic courage. It's the loss of our Catholic fortitude. It's the loss, yes, of our Catholic heritage, which began some time ago, but uh, more aggressively in 1962. <clears throat> all of which had been given as a precious legacy by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, first to his apostles, to be preserved faithfully in the one and only church founded on Peter, for Peter and for Peter's successors, to pass on to all successive generations of Catholics until the end of time. It's this legacy which has been progressively leached from us, beginning formally with the Second Vatican Council, and continues to the present point of Pachamama idolatry in the Vatican Gardens by Pope Francis. Alas, alas, alas. And who today stands up for the Catholic faith, outside of which we are taught and we believe no one can be saved, outside of which we affirm with the certainty of Catholic dogma, all will go to hell. I won't answer that question, who today stands up for the Catholic faith. That's not my place or my competence. But neither will I answer those, or rather, neither will 
they answer whose place and competence it is, nay, whose vocation it is, whose duty it is to answer, namely our bishops, our cardinals, and above all, the successor of St. Peter, our Pope, Francis by name. During the present global lockdown, we priests are forbidden by our secular overlords to provide you, the faithful, with the sacraments necessary to your eternal life. Necessary to your eternal life. Sacraments which Jesus Christ has charged us to give you at whatever cost to ourselves. And there have been, as you know, a long history of many heroic priests, bishops, cardinals, and yes, even popes who have done that. Did not our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ say clearly six times as a matter of fact, unless you eat my body and drink my blood, you shall not have life in you. But oh no, our overlords have ruled that the mass, that the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which the holy sacrifice of the mass offers us, provides us, these are not essential to us. Thank you very much, Jesus, but we really don't need you right now. Our more pressing, our more urgent concern is not eternal life, but life here and now. Fools, these are fools who speak so. And who has guaranteed you will not die? And when that will be? Nobody gets out of this world alive. And thence, thereafter, what? And how do our, our shepherds, how do our priests, how do our bishops, how do our cardinals, how does our Pope respond to these dictates from our secular overlords? Yowza, yowza massa, you write, we obey. This is not the response of Catholics. Certainly it's not the response of Catholics, Catholic priests, bishops, cardinals, and popes. I put here on the front of the, this lectern, you can see it here, I hope, um, a photo of one of the 400 plus uh, rock, uh, mass rocks, which can be still found in Ireland. They're scattered across the Irish countryside, enormous rocks and piles of rocks which were used to celebrate Mass during the times of the penal laws. Thank you, England, very much for that. When it was illegal in Ireland uh, to be Catholic from about 1695 to 1750. Life was perilous then for Irish Catholics. Churches were closed, like now. Bishops were banished, and many priests were forced to leave the country. Even with such a risk, priests then continued at great peril to themselves to celebrate Mass for the people in secret, isolated outdoor locations using these bare rocks as altars. It is almost at that point now. The location of these Mass rocks, of course, had to be passed down orally. Uh, since including them, for example, in uh, 17th and 18th century maps would have exposed them to uh, discovery and depredation. There's a doctor bishop, not a bishop, but a doctor named Bishop, of the University of Liverpool who has studied these rocks and who says of them, these rocks are the symbol of Ireland's Catholic heritage. They are what kept the faith alive throughout almost two centuries of the Catholic or the Irish Catholic penal era. And she goes on, if Gaelic communities hadn't gone to the mass rocks, the Catholic faith would have died out. And surely this is what our overlords are counting on. Yes, they are. It's, they're not targeting simply the, the, us Catholics. They're targeting God, whoever he may be. They're targeting, targeting God. I assure you, the Muslims are in no way practicing social distancing or uh, leaving their uh, mosques. Nobody does anything to them. Dr. Bishop goes on, 
Currently, there are about 500, or rather 400, mass rocks which are recorded, many of which have been inscribed with a cross or some kind of, um, of uh, history. But she, she supposes there are probably many, many more than these 400. And she concludes, I suppose there comes a point where certain generations, our generation, are less interested in those sites and less interested in their religion and in their heritage indeed. When some of them say today they no longer find the Mass relevant, I think of the Mass rocks and the love of the Mass that inspired priests and people to gather there in all weathers in spite of great danger. Certainly priests, bishops, and so on don't face the danger those priests faced. They faced imprisonment and death. If priests today should violate the strictures and the uh, prohibitions against adoring God publicly today, in some countries a fine, who knows, I suppose if the priests are persist in it, they'll go to prison. Well, it's not too far off from the final solution now, is it? So my friends, where are our mass rocks today? If, there were, if they were there and we knew them, or we knew where they were, would we go to them? Some would, perhaps. Granted, we of the Society of St. Pius X, we are small in comparison to the larger modernist church, which would certainly delight were we so bold as to stand up to the peasant tyranny because they know that if we did, we would be crushed and they would applaud to see it happen. Like it or not, and I don't, that's not our mission. That's not our vocation. Our vocation is one of preservation and transmission of our Catholic heritage and our Catholic tradition. Preserving that heritage which the modern church, which modern churchmen, and which Pope Francis himself hates with a passion. And it is not a holy passion. Instead, these modernist priests and bishops and cardinals and Pope happily close their churches in obedience to their globalist overlords. <clears throat> Keep in mind, my friends, I don't know how many of you uh, saw uh, the uh, Easter Vigil service in the Vatican this year in St. Peter's. Keep in mind, Vatican City State is a sovereign nation whose overlord is Pope Francis, who could, if he had wanted to, on Easter Eve, he could have kept St. Peter's open, celebrating a splendid Paschal service, a splendid Paschal Mass, inviting all to the wedding feast of the Paschal Lamb, social distancing be damned. Did Pope Francis do that? Hardly. Rather, there was a very private Paschal liturgy in a closed St. Peter's with literally, literally, only a handful in attendance in the vast emptiness of that basilica. This is another first in the history of the church, never before in the history of the church in Rome has there been such a stark absence of people, of Catholics, to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the dead. And it didn't have to be, which shows you whom Pope Francis and the Cardinals and the bishops, and the modernist priests all serve because they all did this in lockstep during this lockdown. They all did this. And then from the Gospel of St. Luke we read, And there followed him a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him on the way to, the, to Calvary. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not over me, 
but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the day shall come wherein they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that have not borne and the paps that have not given suck. And if that fails, there's always abortion. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if in the green wood they do these things, what shall be done in the dry? Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum. Come spirit to do. Oh, Ramus. Justus Apama Florebit Secret Chedrus, Quae in Libano est multiplicabitur. Alleluia. In spirit, in the heart, is the only one God. In the heart, is the only one God. In the heart, is the only one Pray, paratum, lavabo, enter in the chintas, manas mes. Et in our universe, we believe to a domine de lexite quam domus to it, locum habitantius guarie to it, ne paradox in pious days, anima mem et conviti sanguine vita mem. Sushi Pesan to Trinitas
per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Et cum spiritus. Sursum corda. Abimus a Dominus. Gratias a gamus Domino Deo nostro. Dignum et justum est. Pere dignum et justum est. Deicum et salutare te quidem Domine. Omni tempore sed in hoc potissimum gloriosius predicare. Cum pasca nostrum immolatus est Christus. Ipse enem veras est agnus. Qui abistul et peccata mundi. Qui mortem nostrum moriendo destruxidet. Vitam resurgendo reparavidet. Idio cum angelis et arcan Angelis cum tronis et dominationibus, cum quae omni militia celestis exercitus, hymnum gloriae tue canimus, sine fine dicentes, sanctus, 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 dominus Deus sabaot, plenis in celi et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. We pretty quam paterator, actually be pardoned in some of the sons. Ed elevat his whole colleagues in chill at the day in part of so only would end there. And he got his own chance, pain and exaggeration. Excellentness. Hawk est in corpus. Simili moro post quam cenare mes, ac cipiente tu precora un colis genet non caso, non so, non so, non so, non so, item tibi grazia sa gens, bene.
Eromnia secula secudor. Amen. O rebus precepti salutari cosmodities, divina institutione formatia de misticere. Pater noster, qui est in celis sanctificetur nomen tu, ad veniat regnum tu, via voluntas tua, sicut in celo ed in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis de vita nostra, sicut et nos dimidimus de vita rebus nostris. Et ne nos in ducas in tentazione. Sed liberanus amalo. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax domini sit semper obiscu. Et com spirito tuo. Agnus Dei quitolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei quitolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei quitolis peccato mundi, dona nobis pancem. Domine non si divina se d'interesse. Domine non si divina se d'interesse. Confetido, potente, beato, men semper virgini, beato, unic angelo, beato, nel baptisti, sanctus apostolis, spirit, white, paolo, unibo, sanctus, tibia, pater, qui apica bene, miscere, rascione, verbo, e tera opere, mia culpa, mia culpa, mia maxima culpa. Eri picor, beato, men semper virgini, beato, unic angelo, beato, nel baptista, sanctus apostolis, spirit, white, paolo, omni, sanctus, e tibia, pater, orare, promia, dominum, deum, nostrum. Miscere, 
vestri omnipotens Deus et demis peccatus vestris producat vos ad vitam eternam. Amen. Indulgentiam absolutionum et remissionum peccatorum vestrum tribu et vobis omnipotens et misericus dominus. Amen. What do you mean? Sick. Fidelis a service of prudence, quim constitu a domino superfamiliam suam, o detilis in temporary tricici mensorum, alleluia. A domino spokes, quum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Amen. Amen. Et cum spiritu tu, Dio gracias. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, 
Amen. Et kam spirit tu. Dominus Opus Cum. In principio era verbum, et verbum era da Deus era verbum. Folk era in principio opus Deum omnia prius in factus sunt et sine ipsa factum est nitu quod faction est. In ipsa vita era, et vita era, lux homina mit lux intendibris lucet et tenebre in non comprehenderunt. Ut homo misus adeo cui nominero du anes hic venidin testimonium et testimonium per hiberite lumine domnes credum in per illum non erati ele luxid et testimonium per hiberite lumine. Erat lux vera quae illumina domnem homina venientem in hoc mundo. In mundo erat et mundus pripsum factus est in mundus eum non cognovin in propria vein et et sui eum non reciperum. Quoque quod autum reciperum deum de veis potestatum tu eus de ye fieri Is qui credo de nomen eos qui non ex sanguin guinibus, ne qui ex voluntate carnis, ne qui ex voluntate divis, sed ex edeo nati sunt, et verbum caro factum est, habitavit in nobis, et vidim et gloriam eos qui in quasi, unigeniti a patric ben in gratia et benitatis. Rio gratias. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and thou art at Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and thou art at Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs of mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that the way may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon thy people who cry to thee, and through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all thy saints, do thou mercifully and graciously, through the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners, and for the freedom and exaltation of Holy Mother Church through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of soul. Amen. O most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy. Thank <laughs> you.